Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm going to be checking out a tool that's been around for a while that I've just never heard of before called Effectseer, and it's all about creating particle system effects. It's a completely free, MIT licensed, open source project, and it's very impressive to be honest. Now, a new version was just released. This is how I became aware of over on GameDev.net. There was a release for Effectseer 1.4. It's got an updated user interface, uh, supports for Mac OS now, uh, ability to read in FBX with animation, uh, addition of parameters to protect collided effects and objects, in addition to parameters for easier control of the effects. And the cool thing about this is you can create these particle systems, with particle effects, and then export them to engines such as Unity and Unreal, as well as a generic uh, Direct3D and OpenGL runtime. We'll see all that in a second. But I figured first off, we would actually show you effects here. Now, when you download it, it comes down as a zip. Just extract it out like this and run the EXE effects here. Now, obviously it is available on Windows, but it's also available on Mac OS. And this is the primary user interface. You see your view here where you, um, you view your scene or your particle effects you are creating. I've got this, there we go, it's finicky. Uh, this is your runtime playback control. And let's go ahead and open up an example scene. So we go here, files, uh, we'll open, and then if you go back to the root directory, there are a bunch of samples to work with. I like this one for illustrating it the best. But you can do things like snowstorm effect, magical spell effects, that kind of thing. And you can create 3D effects that you then render down to a series of 2D sprites or an animation sequence if you wish. So here you can see a sword effect that has been created. Down here is the hierarchy of the effect. Uh, you can think of this as your mini scene graph. You can hide elements by clicking here and here. Um, and the various different things that go together, like this spark rotation, you've got um, different textures you can bring in and so on. But the main thing you're going to want to see is the actual effect in action. So you see it goes from 0 to frame 260. We'll go ahead and hit play. And here you can see the effect that's being generated. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with this tool. And that's kind of, um, you know, a, a JRPG style weapon attack effect. But let's go and show you something a little bit more mundane. So we'll go back here to samples, basic. And yeah, here's a laser effect. And let's go ahead and run that. And there you can see the, the effect running. So it is for creating particle systems that you can then in turn use in your game. And then you can see this one has a much simpler hierarchy of um, things making or composition of it. Uh, and then you got your different fields and properties you can handle here, rotation, movement, etc. And then over here, you've got uh, your various different windows you can open up, such as, you know, your global settings, your render settings. And then finally, you can export as an oh, EFK. What if I do save as? File, save as, project. Okay. So then once you've got it exported out, they do have their runtimes available. So let's go on back to their website for now. And here you see, again, here's the announcement, the news announcement. I will link that. So kudos to gamedev.net for the... Um, the notification. Uh, here we have their introductory page. Now this is, I think, a primarily Japanese project. So there is a little bit of English as second language in the text, in the documentation. There's also full um, Japanese support. So if you, you can, are Japanese native speaker, you're probably gonna wanna go there for the documentation. But you can see an overview of what it's capable of and what it can do. You can see some of it in action. The cool thing is you can easily come here and download contributed effects that other people have generated. So if you just wanna throw some particle effects into your game that someone else may have done the work for you, hey, that's an option here too. Um, you go here to uh, the downloads, and you see you can download it for both Windows and Mac OS. Again, it's a simple zip file, extract it out, run the executable, and you're good to go. But you can also see here we've got runtime. So we've got the effects here runtime for DirectX OpenGL. We've got one dedicated for Unity, for DX Library, for Unreal Engine 4 and for MMD and Civ 3D. I'm not 100% sure what actually either of them are, to be honest. And you can get the old versions available here, including selectively the runtime. So for 1.40, if you are a Unity or Unreal Engine developer, you can basically just create these effects and use them directly using these plugins. This is pretty awesome. And the coolest thing is, once again, this is an open source project. So here it is on GitHub. I'll toss this link, um, the link to the GitHub in the page down below. As you can see, some of it is definitely in Japanese, um, but, it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. They give you a whole bunch of samples to work with that you can learn from. You can go ahead and create these uh, particle effects. You can see there are some things on their to-do list such as Vulcan support, Metal support, DirectX 12 support. Uh, and then we've got the easy things they're looking at, things like add more samples and better documentation. They got basic instructions on how to build it. The code itself seems to be a combination of C-sharp and uh, C++. Um, 
And probably the most important thing of all is the license is MIT. And MIT license is awesome. It's probably my favorite one to see. Basically do what you want, how you want, when you want, whenever you want. So this is truly free and Libra software. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked I've never heard of this guy before, to be honest. Like, I keep abreast of the tools that are out there, and this one just completely slipped under my radar. And uh, that's a shame, because it's a pretty cool tool. So if you are looking to create particle effects, this may be the place for you. There's a simple sword swipe attack. And here you can see the way that they made it. So uh, if you are looking at creating particle systems for your game, this may be the right tool for you. And once again, you can export your tools out to just a straight 2D image sequence. So if you just want to transpose it over top of whatever your 2D game engine is, that's an option here as well. So that's effects here. Um, and again, all the links will be down below. And am I in the dark in this one? Did you, were you guys all aware of this or uh, is this news to you too? Let me know in the comments down below. Cool looking tool, uh, definitely impressed by it. And I love to see these, these free tools freely available, especially under such liberal licensing. So uh, good on you, Effexer team or Effexier. Effexier, I think it's Effexier. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.